the Battle of Grajovas, in today's Montenegro, occurred from 28 April to 1 May 1858, when the Grand Duke Mirko Petrovich Njegos, elder brother of Prince Danilo, led a strong army of 7,500 and won a crucial battle against the Turks at Grajovas. The Turkish forces were routed. A considerable arsenal of war trophies were left in Montenegrin hands to come in handy again in the final wars of independence in 1862 and 1875-1878. to 1878. Background On 28 April 1858, Ottoman commander Hussein Pasha captured the villages of Ilusi and Grahovo and continued his advance towards Grahovas. A small village located on a plateau elevated slightly above the captured area. The core of Montenegrin resistance was in Grahovas, which was the main bastion of defense of Montenegro according to military plans. This battle was a prelude to the War of 1862 where Montenegro and the Principality of Serbia would briefly fight the Ottoman Empire. Battle. The fighting itself started on 29 April, early in the morning. The Ottomans attacked Grahovis while Montenegrins were stubbornly defending, determined not to retreat at any cost. Most of 3,000 Ottoman and 1,000 Montenegro casualties were made on that day. On 30 April, Hussein Pasha offered a truce to Montenegrin commander-in-chief Grand Duke Mirko Petrovich Njegos refused it, although he did allow the Ottomans time to bury their dead. He also refused to send men to disrupt the Ottomans' supply of water. Although this would have given him a tactical advantage he considered it a dishonorable move. On 1 May, the fighting started again as the Ottomans got military support from Bosnia. But this time, Montenegrins took charge and attacked the Ottomans, forcing them into a successive retreat. The biggest problem for Montenegrins was a well-armed Ottoman artillery, which was constantly bombarding their positions with cannons. Eventually, Montenegrins decided to charge across the battlefield and take over the cannons. After they saw two of the commanders, Sir Arthur Okasavac and Priest Luka Jovovic, being killed while charging, the rest of the Montenegrin troops including the guardsmen, began a rapid advance with a shout, forward, to avenge our commanders. The offensive was successful, and by capturing Ottoman cannons, Montenegrins had officially won the battle. Aftermath This major victory had had even more diplomatic significance. The glory of Montenegrin weapons was soon immortalized in the songs and literature of all the South Slavs, in particular the Serbs in Vojvodina, then part of Austria-Hungary. This Montenegrin victory forced the great powers to officially demarcate the borders between Montenegro and Ottoman Empire, de facto recognizing Montenegro's centuries-long independence. Prince Danilo granted all of the battle survivors the Grahovo Medal, and Vojvoda Mirko Petrovich Njegos was proclaimed Grand Duke of Grahovo. In 1864 King Nicholas I built a church on the site of Hussein Pasha's headquarters, and in 2008, the Montenegrin government revealed an obelisk which honors the battle and its participants. Both on the church and the obelisk reads the same inscription.